Good morning, good morning, good morning, and happy Wednesday, middle of the week. This is Gigi. Come on and get your at least thousand steps in this morning. Oh my goodness, I'm out a little bit later than I usually am. I um, I tell you, it's a nice, um, cool morning. I put my jacket because I said, ooh, it might be a little cooler this morning. I really don't need it right now. It is just right. It's just, it's, it's so nice for a nice uh, walk this morning. I can't believe it. We're in August, which is usually uh, one of the hottest months here um, in the 757. It is, oh my gosh, it's nice. And you know, these cool mornings, it's kind of a little harder to get up. <laughs> but we are here because you know why? This is the day that the Lord has made, and we are rejoicing, still rejoicing, and we are glad in it. Oh my goodness, I was reading um, our Daily Bread devotional, and it was talking about um, God's generous love. And um, my gem nugget is, I want you to do something. We all need to do this. Put on your overcoat. <laughs> Put on your overcoat. Now, it's August. It's, it's still not cold enough yet to put on an uh, overcoat or coat or jacket at all. But we know later on we're going to um, have to put on our coats uh, and our jackets. But there's a coat that we can always put on no matter what time of the season it is. My scripture is coming from Colossians 3, mm -hmm. um, 12 through 14. Paul says here, Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly beloved, and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive one another. If any of you has a grievance against someone, forgive as the Lord forgave you. And listen to this one. Pay close attention to this verse, verse 14. And over all these virtues, put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Love. Love is that overcoat that I'm asking you to put on this morning. Put on your overcoat of love. You know, this morning I, I was looking for um, something to, to illustrate this better. And I found a gentleman that has on, uh, he has on pink pants, uh, pink shirt, pink tie. Very good, you know. Uh, that pink looks good on men, you know, and, and the way this outfit is put together. And over all of that, he has on a, a pink overcoat. Beautiful, beautiful. This guy looks handsome in that outfit. And it, and it, and it, and it illustrated this verse because the overcoat, the pink overcoat, which to me the pink represents love, pulls all the rest of that outfit together and it makes him look good. And you know, when we have on that overcoat of love, it makes us look good too. There's a scripture that says you will know them by their love. You'll know those that are disciples of Jesus Christ because of their overcoat of love. Oh, ain't that good? You know, they were telling a story in here because the story that the devotional is bringing out is about forgiveness. And, but see, we can't have that forgiveness unless we have love for one another. Love is not a sign of, of meekness or weakness. It's a sign of strength when you put on that overcoat. Because it was telling the story here about um, this um, soldier, uh, well, yeah, he was a Navy um, Admiral, and during one of the operations in the Middle East, of course, 
Um, he killed an innocent family in the process. Um, but he was, uh, he was so hurt, he met one of the um, family members and um, he asked the man for forgiveness because the, the military man, you know, he said, I had a family and to kill an innocent uh, family, it just hurt him. And um, this is what he said. He said, I'm a soldier, but I have children as well and my heart grieves for you. And guess what the man's response? He granted this gentleman, Mac Raven, the generous gift of forgiveness. As the man's surviving son told him, thank you very much. We will not keep anything in our heart against you. That really takes love when you can forgive someone for um, killing your family and your family was just innocent bystanders. That takes love. That's why this um, verse 13 is in the middle of um, verses 12 and 13. In the middle of it tells you all the things you should close yourself with. Compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Then it talks about bear with each other and forgive one another. Forgiveness is smack in the middle of these two verses. And then over all those virtues, we need to put on the overcoat of love. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful lesson. So put on your overcoat of love. That's the only thing you can do. And our prime example, our, our main example was Jesus Christ. You, 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 you remember what he said on the cross as they were mocking him and killing him and doing all these things. Forgive them, oh my God, for they know not what they do. The only way you can say that is that you have love. Yeah, Tina Turner asked the question, What's love got to do with it? I know we talk about love all the time. What's love got to do with it? In her eyes, it's just a second-hand emotion. But love huh, has everything to do with it. Love has everything to do with it. So don't forget. <laughs> Put on your overcoat of love. All right, that's my gym nugget. That's my gym nugget for today. Um, Subscribe to the Gem Nugget channel. We're over 20,000 subscribers. And I think that we got a lot of people last night to tune in for Church School Live. If you missed the lesson last night, the rules of life, because every once in a while, especially those that are in the household of faith, that are Christians, Sometimes we have to be uh, given a refresher. <laughs> I call it a refresher on how to live the life that God intends us to be. This letter of Titus, when Paul sent this letter to Titus on how to um, um, instruct the church, it, he hit every um, generation, of every group of people, how old men should live how old women should live and how the youth should live and how the elders and how the bishops and how the leaders of the church should conduct themselves. Every once in a while, the church needs to instruct. That's like Paul did through this letter to Titus, the rules of life. You need to go back and see that. You need to go back and see that. If you did see it last night, you need to share it with somebody. You need to share it with somebody because it was a very timely lesson all right i'm going to enjoy the rest of this beautiful morning and this beautiful day you have a blessed one but don't forget you know i remember when we were children this is one last thing you know when it started getting cool and it's something about sometimes children although it's cold they don't want to put their coat on 
And I remember, Mom, don't you go out this house without your coat on and, 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 and your hat on. That was another thing, your hat on. And it did us good because it kept, you know, it prevented us from getting a whole lot of colds and being sick all the time. But uh, don't forget, put on your overcoat. <laughs> and that overcoat is the overcoat of love. That's a coat that you can wear all seasons and all times. Have a blessed, blessed day. Bye.